At 25, concerns seem to multiply, but don't let yourself be shaken. Every mistake can be an opportunity in disguise, ready to turn into a source of income. When someone asks me for advice, I always reflect on the years preceding 20. It's crucial to be an exemplary student during that period. However, it's in your 30s that life truly begins to unfold. Before turning 30, it's essential to accumulate experiences, but not just any kind of experience. Undertaking on a small scale offers valuable lessons that go beyond bureaucratic processes. While in large corporations, you are a cog in a giant machine, in small businesses you discover passion, dreams, and the ability to perform multiple tasks simultaneously. And there's something even more crucial, having a good mentor. Learning from someone experienced and diversifying your skills is essential before your 30s or 40s, when clarity of thought becomes indispensable. So, seize every opportunity to absorb knowledge and cultivate your vision for the future. Imagine yourself working towards your own success. If you aim for a successful life between 40 and 50, it's essential to focus on your already established skills. Avoid venturing into unknown territories, as it may be too late to recover from failures at this stage of life. Although success is possible, the chances of failure increase considerably. At 50 or 60 years old, work in collaboration with the young. Recognize that they may surpass you in certain aspects and trust them to lead the way. It's important to allow them to make mistakes, as that's how they learn and grow. Stay resilient in the face of adversity, embrace every experience, and pave the way to wealth. I myself wasn't born with a silver spoon. I faced numerous academic and professional rejections. I remember the frustration of earning only $10 as a university professor while desperately seeking an opportunity. Faced with this scenario, I decided to explore the potential of the internet, even facing criticism from people who barely understood its utility. Many doubted me, questioning my ability and knowledge in computing. I never saw myself as a genius, and few believed I could achieve success. However, I proved that others' judgments don't determine my destiny. Some used to say, this guy thinks differently. And that's something I learned over time, successful people often have the ability to turn seemingly impossible ideas into reality. When I decided to start my own business, I remember facing difficulties in obtaining a $3,000 loan from banks. It took months until I succeeded. Many advised me to give up, and some even considered the idea of Alibaba terrible. However, what really mattered was my personal belief. I was convinced that this idea could become something big, even though I never imagined reaching the level of success it has today. I knew that something extraordinary was waiting for me, and I worked tirelessly to prove to myself that I was capable of achieving success. Despite the challenges, this journey was incredibly rewarding. We managed to gather $50,000 from 18 investors and started taking the first steps. In the first three years, we didn't earn a single dollar in revenue from our business. It was a challenging time, but what kept me going was the positive feedback from customers. I received numerous thank you emails, where they expressed how much our project was making a difference in their lives. These words of encouragement kept me focused, even in the toughest moments, because I knew that if I kept persisting, I would eventually achieve the desired success. Step by step, we built our business from scratch. With dedication and persistence, we have constructed a solid infrastructure over 16 years, now boasting a robust and high-quality team. The efficiency of our company is the result of a continuous process of improvement and simplicity. Many wonder, how did you manage to create such a successful company? When we look at figures like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Zuckerberg, the difference lies not only in their intelligence but in their attitude towards the future. They are persistently optimistic, never lamenting in the face of challenges but relentlessly seeking solutions. Optimism is the key to seeing opportunities where others see only obstacles. Instead of complaining, focus on finding ways to do things differently. Ask yourself, what can I do to make a difference? And when you find the answer, act on it. Often, young people have brilliant ideas, but to be a successful entrepreneur, it's crucial to act faster than others. This means getting up earlier, being braver, and trusting your instincts to guide your decisions. 
Every action you take should be aligned with the needs of the customer. Regardless of who that customer is, tomorrow is always a new day full of possibilities. It's not just about making a move, it's about making it happen. Investors, your friends, even your parents, no matter who believes in you or not. What really matters is your own belief in what you're doing and that conviction must extend to your team. It takes dedicating tireless days and nights to see things through. As for money, don't let it be your primary concern. Money follows those who are pursuing their dreams. If you have a dream, pursue it with determination. While we may think we can only achieve so much, the truth is we can serve the world in various ways. The choice between working for others or for oneself is personal, but I chose to work for myself, understanding that it is also working for society. If your desire is truly to work for yourself, remember to think of others. Personal success is intrinsically linked to the success and happiness of other people. In today's times, many are concerned about the world and the economy, but it is in these moments of concern that true opportunities arise. Great innovations and companies emerge in difficult periods. I am optimistic about the future because I see a tremendous opportunity for equality. Throughout the centuries, technology and globalization have mainly favored large corporations, but that is changing and the future is open to a more equitable distribution of progress and prosperity. With today's technological advancements, we are finally reaching those 80% of businesses that have never been served and the 80% of young people who have never received enough attention. The future is an exciting promise for me. I am thrilled to hear young people sharing their dreams and hopes because I believe their dreams are ours too. I recall a touching story that exemplifies the impact of technology. A young woman shared with me her 92-year-old grandfather's desire to experience a Western meal on his birthday. Living in a rural area where such food was not available, the family turned to the internet to find a restaurant that delivered. In no time, they were able to fulfill the grandfather's wish, bringing a special meal to celebrate his 92nd birthday. This story not only moved the family but also inspired the entire village, showcasing the transformative power of technology in our lives. Furthermore, we are making a big difference in the lives of farmers. Previously, many of them would lose their crops due to a lack of buyers. Now, thanks to the internet and the use of mobile phones, they can sell their produce, drastically changing their living conditions. These inspiring examples are essential as they demonstrate to people the potential they have to transform their own lives. It's not just about expanding smartphone factories but about empowering people to explore new opportunities and become successful entrepreneurs. As for concerns about the Chinese economy, I notice that whenever there is unrest on the part of Americans, China advances even further. However, it's important to recognize that our focus is not on competing but on creating opportunities for everyone. While Americans tend to spend continuously, we Chinese value the economy and savings, making us one of the countries with the largest deposits in the world. We keep our money in banks because we know it's important to have reserves to face possible future disasters. When the economy is down, we still have resources available to spend, while many may not have that security. Meanwhile, China is rapidly transforming, focusing on a 30-year development plan. The Chinese government has been proactive in investments and exports, but there are still significant challenges in stimulating domestic consumption. It's important to note that the growth of domestic consumption is not driven by the government but by entrepreneurship. When I was 19, I questioned my own future because I hadn't done well in traditional studies. However, this experience made me deeply believe in the potential of young people in China. If they receive the proper support, I believe 80% of these individuals can achieve success. The technological revolution we are currently witnessing is not just about physical strength, as in past eras, but about intelligence and wisdom. Men and women have equal opportunities on the internet, where there is no gender distinction. In fact, women often demonstrate a more welcoming and engaging approach in business, contrasting with the cold and competitive approach often adopted by men. That's why we are seeing more and more women taking on leadership roles in this constantly evolving landscape. We are witnessing an exciting moment in history, where women are assuming leadership roles as governors and presidents around the world. 
this century is standing out as a period of significant advancement towards gender equality and I am incredibly enthusiastic about it. I firmly believe in the power of technology, especially now, as we enter a new era of innovation. I remember the 10 times I applied to Harvard and was rejected. I never imagined that technology and the internet would give me the opportunities one have today. When I think about the future, I don't want to see the Chinese people facing challenges like water scarcity or lack of access to proper health care. My goal is to use technology to provide opportunities for young people, empowering them to thrive in this ever-changing world. And there's no reason to worry, with 1.4 billion people born since the 1980s connected to the internet, we have a vast pool of creative minds ready to find solutions to the world's problems. The concerns we face today are not new, throughout the centuries, humanity has faced significant challenges but has always found ways to overcome them. Now, with technology by our side, we are better prepared than ever to tackle challenges such as climate change and environmental issues. I am confident that these challenges will be turned into opportunities for growth and progress for all of us. When we discuss opportunities and challenges, it's important to consider how we can turn problems into opportunities. Personally, I feel a genuine excitement when I encounter problems because I see in them the chance to make a difference. If I can solve at least one of them, I already feel deeply fulfilled. All of us who are alive in this century are privileged to have access to opportunities and tools that can positively impact the lives of others. I firmly believe that the past century was dedicated to refining technologies, laying the groundwork for empowering people in this century. When we empower others, we are actually investing in our own future. Therefore, we should dedicate time and effort to explore how we can use the internet and other technologies to improve people's lives and make the world a more inclusive and prosperous place for everyone. It's a challenging journey, but one filled with opportunities to positively impact the lives of millions around the globe. Thank you for making it this far. Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to this channel. Until next time.